So to answer your question again, what is a modern entrepreneur? It's being in a league of your own. On June 14, 1951, Remington Rand introduces Univac, the prototype large-scale business computer. Their first customer, the United States Census Bureau. High-tech microcomputers are reaching into areas of everyday life and changing lifestyles for every one of us. To stand in the league of your own, where you're unique enough that people say, you know what? I follow this guy or I follow this girl because they're giving me something that other people aren't giving me. Whether it's realness, whether it's motivation, whether it's keys, whether it's education, there will be people that dislike you. There will be people that talk shit about you. There will be people that hate you. And the reason why is because they cannot relate to you because they don't share the same story or background that you have. When I was 25 and got into this industry, there was one person one person that was a model of success and a model of excellence, and that was Gary Vee. One. There was no one else. There was no one else that I knew at least that existed. So going back to what makes a modern entrepreneur, it's not one thing. What are you passionate about? What drives you? What motivates you? Whatever your passion and your motivation is, let that be the North Star that guides you in everything that you do. You have to be persistently annoying and get in front of people. Whether it's to promote your business, promote yourself, promote your product. I would be a wealthy man if I had a nickel and a dime for every single time someone has told me that I'm a spammer. People that opened up my message and never responded. People told me to go fuck off. People that told me I was a spammer. That's just a fact of life. You will not have a 100% close ratio. The sooner that you can get out of your own way and realize you are not perfect, not everyone likes you, but that's okay, the sooner you can accept that, the sooner you will start to succeed with the opportunities that do come your way. I have never walked into a business meeting and sat across from someone of substance who cuts checks and had that person ask me to see a picture of my house or a picture of my car. In the real world, none of that shit matters. You are going to win people in life, not by what school you went to or by what car you drive or by what zip code you live in. You will win people over online and offline through your personality, which is you, who you are. People connect with people, people buy from people. And at the end of the day, people do business with who they feel comfortable doing business with. I think of someone who's accessible. I think of someone who has a presence online. I think of someone who's likable someone who's approachable, and someone who operates with a servant mindset and is willing to give to others with no expectation of anything in return. Like in everything I've just mentioned, there's an art to getting other people feel your passion. There's an art to how do you be persistently annoying without turning people off because they actually see your persistence as a good thing. Like there's a lot of times where I'll say something like, oh, I'm so sorry like for emailing you every single day. And they're like, oh no, thank you for reminding me. See the difference there? When someone's thanking you for reminding them, it's because they actually respect your hustle. They respect your persistence. You will strike out, you will lose, but how you get back up from those losses will determine what happens in sequential order afterward. Not everyone's cut out for this. The difference between me and a lot of people is that when I was making $120,000 a year or 150 or 170, I was miserable. I hated going to work every day. I hated that feeling of being broke when it would be the 24th of the month and I had six more days to go until I got paid. I hated it. I was depressed. I hated the vibe of going to an office and having to bullshit with people that I didn't like. Having to check off boxes just to fit someone else's box. Having to adapt to someone else's company. Realizing that I get paid a very small fraction to do a task and I'm replaceable. I'm another number. Why? Like, why would I want to spend my prime working years being a slave to someone else. You see, you gotta understand, from the age of 19 to 25, I worked for a company. 
And I was like, oh, this is great. I'm getting paid to learn because I didn't go to college. So while all my friends were in college, I owned houses, I owned cars, life was good. When life wasn't so good, and I lost my corporate job at 25, I then, even though I wasn't making money, I was happy with the fact that I can wake up and control what I do. It's priceless to be able to wake up and say, today I'm going to do X and no one can stop me. And then when I went to go back and work for the man at 28, I was like, oh man, this really sucks. I'm being told how to conduct myself online. I'm being told what I can and can't post on Twitter. I'm being told that I need to tone down my personal brand. I'm not treated with the same respect as I am on the outside. Cause like, that's the thing too about entrepreneurship. I will walk into any single company and I am the CEO of my company. It's automatic respect. If I were right now to leave my company and go work for another company again, let's say be a VP of marketing somewhere, I'm not the CEO, I'm not the chief marketing officer, I don't own the place. I have to go there and be there by 8.30 in the morning and play the game and clock out at five. What I'm giving you right now is like the realness that a lot of people that work in corporate will never tell you. Because I've had this conversation with people and they will complain about their jobs over and over. You know what happens when you go to conferences, man? And you start having dinner and drinks with other people that work at brands. They start telling you how much they hate their boss. They tell you how much they hate their company. They tell you, you know, all the all this insider information. And then I ask, well, why do you still work there? Oh man, because you know, because that check, that check comes through every two two weeks. It's like So you're addicted to a check. Well, what if you knew the formula to replace that check in like 90 days? I know how, because I've done it. I don't, I don't miss that check anymore because I knew, I know all the things that come along with that check. And to me, my time and my independence is so much more important than that check. But once you know how to replace the check, then everything else is easy. Because now you're not working for a check. You're actually working to achieve what you're passionate about. That's real shit, man. That's real shit. And here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. Becoming an entrepreneur today is easy because all you need to do is have an idea of what you want to sell or what you want to be known for and then go sell it. This modern, well-protected building affords the inside story on a real money-making proposition. The story behind the pennies, nickels, and dimes Spent so casually every day, every day, every day.